Starry Night by Neil Waldman. This is a story about Vincent van Gogh and a little boy. Across the shaded hills and winding pathways of Central Park, Daffodil stars exploded in yellow splendor. A group of boys raced along side the still reflecting pool where children played with sailboats under the watchful eyes of their mothers. The boys darted around a sharp curve ran past a frail-looking man who stood before an old easel. The last of the boys came to a stop as the others charged off onto a grassy field. Come on, Bernard, one of them called back, but Bernard did not move. He just stood there staring at the brightly colored canvas the man glanced at Bernard and returned to his painting. Bernard sat down in the grass. After a while, the man turned and nodded. It's finished, he said, in a funny-sounding English. The Big Apple never looked better. Bernard beamed. The man began packing up his paints and easel. Where are you going? Bernard asked. To find another place that asks to be painted. What's your name? Vincent. The man smiled. Do you paint all the time? Yes, said Vincent. That's why I am here. Where do you come from? Bernard asked. Far away. I just arrived today. Well, I've lived here all my life, Bernard said. I could show you some amazing places. I'd like that very much. Bernard took Vincent north to Harlem, south to the Statue of Liberty, and east to the Brooklyn Bridge. They spent their days in Greenwich Village, in Chinatown, in Times Square, and on Fifth Avenue. Wherever they went, Bernard watched as Vincent painted New York in bright and beautiful colors. Then one day, Vincent said, It's time for me to go, but before I leave, there is one place I want to show you. Vincent took Bernard to a big building on 53rd Street. Inside, the walls were covered with beautiful paintings. They went up an escalator to the second floor. Vincent led Bernard to a blue and yellow painting of a country village at night. Bernard stood silently for a long time. He could hardly breathe. Then he felt a shiver pass through him. Vincent, it looks exactly like one of yours. You painted this picture, didn't you? But there was no answer. Vincent? Bernard spun around, but Vincent wasn't there. Vincent! He called. Where are you? Bernard raced through every room of the museum, but his friend was nowhere to be found. He walked sadly back to the blue and yellow painting.
Bernard looked at the swirling stars, the orange moon, and the sleeping village. He thought about the many days when he had watched in wonder as Vincent painted the streets of Harlem, Midtown, the village, and the great lady with the torch from across the bay in Battery Park. The Big Apple never looked so great, Bernard whispered. His eyes widened. He turned and left the museum. Bernard came back a few minutes later carrying a brown paper bag. He sat down across from Vincent's painting. Then he opened the bag, took out a sketch pad, and a box of colored pencils. And Bernard began to draw. The end.